News for us, Alexandria Adams joining us live in Franklin tonight. Yeah. Alexandria, this story is certainly a concern for parents, but you found some simple ways for kids to stay safe. I did, Tom. Yeah, we actually crashed in on one of the martial arts classes here at Premier Martial Arts out here in Franklin. That's in the instructor there, Stephen, teaching the kids right now. He says it's all about knowing your surroundings and when you need to fight back. All right, here we go. Stephen Bates is an instructor here at Premier Martial Arts. Very nice. He teaches children and adults about the best ways they can protect themselves. Statistics say that actually uh, young adults and teens are the most uh, people that get targeted by these kind of predators. They're going to be looking for someone that, that's not going to give them a lot of trouble that someone that seems like they're not going to fight back. Bates suggests using Cooper's color code, a self-defense chart that breaks down when you need to fight back. Orange would be when you identify a threat. Let's say you're walking down this tunnel and you see something that's usually not there, maybe like a man standing in, in the tunnel. Red is when you have to jump into action. When you see the, the threat actually happening, and let's say this person is coming towards you, this is when you run, jump, whatever you have to do, fight to get out of the situation. Bates encourages for people, especially children, to not be afraid to fight if you're put in danger. It's just moving your arms as much as you can, swinging down and stuff like this, biting, scratching, whatever you need to do to get out of these situations. When it's your life on the line, um, you need to go ahead and, and fight for what's yours. Now, Stephen also suggests keeping eye contact with that person you find suspicious so they can't sneak up on you and using those attack moves. Tracy.